So this is where Tilda tried to reel you in. What was her proposal? That together you could save the planet? Just as your precious genetic mother always wanted? I believe the old ones called that a bait and switch. Luring you with the promise of a vibrant new world. When in reality, it's doomed to be cracked open by nemesis and scoured of life. If you're trying to get a rise out of me about Tilda, it's not gonna work. And if you really believed we have no future, you wouldn't be here. And perhaps I'm just waiting to see if you can once again achieve the impossible. Speaking of which, my preparations for Nemesis have revealed a new problem. I've been searching the remains of the Zenith base for any data that could help us. In doing so, I discovered that 13 of our spacefaring friends descended to Earth from the Odyssey. But we only found 12 corpses total, including Verbena at the biotech lab. Your math is impressive as always, but yes. It appears that one got away. His name is Walter Landra. In the 21st century, he was an aerospace magnate, but also a bit of a celebrity. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that he's far too dangerous to be allowed to roam free. You need to find him and deal with him. So where do you think Landra went? The coast, far to the south. An area wracked by tectonic shifts and volcanic activity. The few Tanakh who have ventured there refer to it as the Burning Shores. But a thousand years ago it was called Los Angeles. A hub for the technology and entertainment industries. Landra's space mining company, Heaven Sent, was headquartered there. It stands to reason he would retreat to familiar territory. I'll send you the coordinates. So... Are you ready to track down our rogue zenith? Okay. To the burning shores, then. Proceed with caution, Eloy. I suspect Londra is even more devious and resourceful than the other zeniths. Aw, oh, silence. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were actually concerned about my safety. Hey, Beta. I'm actually on my way to the Burning Shores. Oh, right. Uh, Gaia and I heard about your mission from Silence. Be safe, okay? We'll be here if you need us. We'll do. Thanks. Just headquarters shouldn't be far. flying just now? Yeah, just, uh, not my best landing. Damn, more machines. Stay back. I'll handle this. Hold on. I can help too. Let's see what you got. Oh, you know how to hold your own. The name's Seika. Aloy. I could, uh, say the same about you. You have, you have a focus. focus. So you're Quinn. You're not exactly like any diviner I've met. How do you even know that? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but first... Just one for now. 
I saw you before you crashed, flying on a sunwing. It didn't look like you knew about that tower, which means you're new. So what brought you here? I'm looking for someone. There's a ruin. On the hill northeast of here, that's where I was headed. Ruin on the hill? You mean Starlight Rise? You know it. Is there another way to get there? Maybe. But first, we're gonna have to do something about that tower. I think we can help each other, Aloy. The tower's not far from where my people made camp. I can show you the way. Uh, hold on. You said we can help each other, but what exactly are you doing here? Let's just say I need that tower dealt with too. Come on. Missed. No. You will remain here until the traitor returns. You! Here we go. Sorry. One act of treason breeds another, it seems. Stealing a diviner's focus, leading a barbarian into our midst. Huh. Where's the Quinn I know? Arrest them both. Remove their focuses at once. Arrest us? This is a matter for the Admiral. Not a compliance officer. <laughs> By all means. Who's the barbarian? She's done for. Things seem kind of tense around here. It's not our best day. Admiral Garrett! It's as I told you, sir. The proof is now before your eyes. A soldier dared to don a diviner's focus. The eye that reveals the legacy. But Seika did not stop there. She brought a barbarian among us. In direct violation of confidentiality clause 3A. Protocol states that these- I might be our last chance at finding our missing people, sir. Diviner Vi's focus showed me his last moments. He found a clue. The ruin on Starlight Rise. There's evidence our people were there. Andra's headquarters. Now we have no means of safe passage, not in our current situation, but she might have another way. Remember the law, sir. Focus is for a diviner, no one else. Seika's actions are indeed concerning, and there will have to be a reckoning. But finding our lost crew is paramount. If Seika has a chance of bringing them back, our course is clear. Even compliance must recognize that. I will allow it. Seika and the Outsider are free to pursue this lead. But sir, if... Outlander, I'd like a word, when you have a moment. Hmm. Damn them! You okay? I shouldn't have said that, it's just that... My sister is one of the missing. Not only that, she's our last navigator, our only means of getting home. 
I've got to find her, even if it means using a forbidden relic. Meanwhile, Rang and the others act like I'm the problem, when in reality, I'm the only one looking for a solution. Look, I, I understand. Maybe more than you know, but for now, I think we need to calm down I and just- calm! You're right, of course. Getting upset isn't going to help. Okay. We both need to get to the place you call Starlight Rise. But that tower... Seems like it knocks anything nearby out of the sky. Out of the water, too. It fires at any watercraft in range. Oh, great. Well... Seems to me you've got some kind of plan in mind to deal with it? Maybe. Between the two of us, there might be a way. You think there's a way to do something about that tower? If we want to reach Starlight Rise, we have to try. I was able to approach the tower on foot, but I couldn't get close enough to shoot at it or anything like that. With the right help, though... Show me the way and we'll give it a shot. You'll probably want to resupply first. You can use my skiff if you need to hunt for resources. Just stay south of the settlement. The tower can't hit that side. I set up some buoys to mark its radius. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go clear my head. There's a bridge that leads to the ruins where the tower is mounted. I'll wait for you on the other side. Hold on, there's one more thing. The, the Quen here, all of this. You were part of a larger expedition, right? Headed for San Francisco? That's how you know about us. And you've seen the others, haven't you? And they're alive. Most of them, yeah. I can put you in touch with them, but we should find your missing people first, right? They're alive. This is great news. But yes, you're right, it, it should wait. If we tell everyone now, it'll just be a distraction. So, for the sake of the missing, we have to keep the focus on them. All right, then. I'll see you on the other side of the bridge. Well, that didn't go exactly how I thought it would. It turned out okay. And now your machine can get us to Starlight Rise, right? Yeah. I saw it fly off when I crashed. I should be able to call it back. One step closer to finding my sister. And a living ancestor you're after. But I should probably report to the Admiral first, give him some assurance that we've made progress. Okay. I'll meet you back at the settlement then. You know, I'm kind of glad you tagged along. Okay. So, shall we get going to Starlight Rise? Yeah, let's go. So what now? Something wrong? Of course not. Oh, it's a little snug. Oh, manage. Oh shit! What was going on in that hologram back there? And why exactly did Laundra come here? And what is he doing with my people? He used them to dig up this place to find some old data. Part of it has to do with something called MSP, which I've never heard of before, but the rest... I think he's trying to build a ship to get off this world and into the stars. Off this world? Why would anyone want to do that? There is something you're not telling me. You're just like a diviner. 
full of secrets. Oh yeah? Well, what about you? The way you reacted to that mural back in the ruin? <sighs> Care to explain? Fine. I guess we'll both hold our tongues for now. <sighs> All right, look. The important thing is that we know where Laundra went, and that's probably where he took your people. And your sister. You're right, of course. I should report back to the Admiral before we go any further. I'll use the boat we saw from the air to return. Okay, I'll find you there later. Is everything okay? I gave my report to the Admiral. Apparently, some of the crew have called for me to be stripped of rank and cast out. I'm so sorry, Seika. That must be really hard to take. It doesn't matter. Where are we headed next? Well, um, we know where Laundra sent the data from his old company. Somewhere on the mainland, north of where we met. Should be able to fly there. Yeah, about that. Let's take my skiff this time instead. Not a fan of flying, huh? I'm a marine. I'll take the water over the skies any day. All right, we'll take your skiff. Should we get going? Yeah, let's go. Follow me. Nice and easy. And, unlike flying, if you fall off, you don't die. All right, let's see what's on this thing. It looks like there's something further in. Some kind of compound. Laundra might be in there. You're missing people, too. I'm not seeing a way past the barrier. There. That's some kind of power generator. Hooked up to the arm of the Horus. Laundra's figured out how to get part of it working again. A metal devil can't actually wake up, can it? <sighs> I'm not sure. But at least right now, it must be how Laundra's powering the barrier. So if we can find a way to shut down those generators, it should come down. It's worth a shot, at least. It looks like there are two of them nearby. Come on, let's get going. Seika, have you come to join us? Join you? Yeah, we have. It took a while, but we finally made it. <laughs> A barbarian, one of the chosen. Impossible. Zeth would never allow this. Hmm. How did you get in without him? Well, Zeth sent us, actually. After we helped him out of that, um, that ambush in the wilds. Right! You see, I was on my way here with him when machines attacked us. We tried to hold them off, but we were outnumbered. That's when Aloy here came to the rescue. I was exploring the region when I ran across them, so I just rushed in to help. <laughs> you should have seen her. One of the best machine hunters I've ever met. She saved Zeth's life. Oh, I was just doing what I could. <laughs> Zeth had something important he needed to take care of after, so he said to go on without him. And that's when he told us how to lower the barrier and said we should head straight inside. Zeth really needed a barbarian to get him out of trouble. We all need a little supporting fire every now and then. Well, Zeth gave them the okay. And I am not risking one of his outbursts. Let the others inside know about our new arrivals, will you? 
Fine. But I'm not letting them into the Ascension Hall until they prove they're devoted, just like everyone else. And I'll be interested to hear Zeth's side of this when he returns. Oh, by all means. Good luck in there, Seika. May you both embrace his light. Ah, you must be the ones Brennick mentioned. Two more souls chosen to leave our thankless old life behind. Yes, that is us. It's... Kiral, right? You were stationed on the Spark? In my former life, yes. Just one more Marine bound to a hopeless expedition. Ugh. Enough of that. Hmm? As Walter says, we must forget the past. Our suffering led us here, after all. And now, the ascension is almost upon us. This place is such a wonder, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it. Oh, but it is still nothing compared to what's in the ascension hall. You've been inside? Indeed. I proved my devotion not long before you joined us. Now I wait to be taken to what lies ahead. One step closer to the Ascension. Well, thanks for talking with us, Kiral. We should get back to learning about Walter. Yes, of course. Good luck with your studies. I hope to see you at the Ascension. Did you need something else? You mentioned you're waiting for what lies ahead, and we're still getting. You're not the first to fail. Now that, but it happened, and, and as soon as you, some, I could not like poor. We'll make. Well, if it isn't our do-gooder and the barbarian. It all makes sense now. The time of ashes, the floods in the Great Delta. We've been trapped in a cycle of destruction, but soon we'll have a new world. That's quite a promise. And now that you've proved your devotion, you're ready for what comes next. Zeth will lead you there as soon as he returns. Not so fast. Your good deed in the wilds may have gotten you this far, but you'll get no special treatment here. Walter himself granted me the privilege of guarding the Ascension Hall. So until you complete your review and learn the words of attainment, this door remains shut. No exceptions. Okay, okay, we will be back later then. supposed to pass some kind of laundry devotion test. But who knows how long we have before this Zeth guy gets back. There's gotta be a faster way to learn whatever the words of attainment are. Let's take a look around. I'll get us a drink. In the meantime, remember what Walter said about embracing the future. Seems like you don't really share your friend's excitement about all this. I should be more excited, shouldn't I? It's okay to question things. Lon was thrilled when we got into the Ascension Hall. He can't wait to see what we'll be taking next, but I'm worried that all this is too good to be true. So why don't you just leave? I can't abandon him. We've been through everything together. Our, our missions, the Typhoon, the Shipwreck, and soon, the Ascension, I guess. Seems like most of the Quen are more than happy to follow Londra. So why not you? At first, I wanted to believe. But everything he told us felt like it filled an emptiness, like maybe I'd finally found somewhere to belong. Then I remembered how the boards back home would tell us to follow the virtues of the legacy, to be good and honest. And then they dragged my father away for speaking out against an Imperial decree. 
I'm not sure it's any different here. Walter might be a living ancestor, but with a cudgel like Zeth to do his bidding, his kindness is just as conditional as the Empire's. As far as anyone at your settlement knows, you went out into the wilds and vanished. How did you end up here? Lon and I were part of a scouting mission to the mainland, but things went bad fast. We were lost and starving, our boat was wrecked, and then Walter found our camp. A living ancestor, emerging from the wilds to tell us we'd been chosen, that we were safe. It was easy to embrace. Everyone here has a similar story. Why didn't anyone send word to us? Not everyone is chosen. Walter says we must leave our old lives behind if we're going to ascend. Nobody questioned it. But I should have. You said Lon can't wait to see where you're headed next. Do you know what you'll find there? I imagine it'll be another kind of test, like here. And once you've been in the Ascension Hall, you're taken there by Zeth. He and his troops are the only ones who ever come back. Everyone keeps mentioning him. I get the feeling he's not really a friendly guy. <laughs> as friendly as a fireclaw. But it's not just him. The soldiers that follow him are like that too. I guess they know they can do as they like, now that they don't answer to the Admiral or compliance. You're right to be skeptical of all this. Wander is up to something. We need to get into the Ascension Hall to figure out what. And to do that, we need the words of attainment. I don't want to stir up any trouble. When Zeth comes back, he'll figure out that I told you. Does it have something to do with one of those laundry displays? This is important, Otosu. A lot of lives are at stake. It's related to what Walter said he valued most about his friends. Well, that's not hard to figure out. Lanjo likes being the center of attention. No, that's not it at all. This was a bad idea. I, I shouldn't be talking to you. Hey, it'll be okay. I promise. I'm sorry, I can't. Now, please, just leave me alone. What is it? You mentioned you're waiting for what lies ahead, and we're still getting up to speed, but I thought the Ascension Hall was where we needed to go. You're not the first to fail to grasp Walter's plan for us. Now that I've seen what's in the hall, my rank is secure. But there is something more that he's offering us. I just know it. It has to be why the devoted are escorted to another place. And as soon as Zeth returns, he'll take me there. I'm ready. Do you have any idea where this place is, exactly? Somewhere that brings us closer to Walter. To his embrace. So you've been inside the Ascension Hall. Is it as special as we think it is? I shouldn't say. I wouldn't want to deny you the same experience I had. Come on, Kural. Just a hint? We're dying to know what's inside. I'll tell you this. It's... breathtaking. Like the moment Walter first appeared before our boat, but better. Prove your devotion, and you'll see. Look, Kirol, we need your help. You said that the Ascension is almost here. Seika and I are trying to prove our devotion as fast as we can. But we're running out of time. We need to get into the Ascension Hall. But, but the only way to learn the words of attainment is to pass your devotion review. Unless you help us out. We're a lot like you. We've suffered so much until now. Storms, shipwrecks, hunter killer machines. We don't want to go back to that. Well, we should all embrace his light. Perhaps even with a helping hand. Okay. 
is kind of what Walter said when he sat with us and told us his story about where eternity lies. It's on a new world, right? As part of the Ascension? Exactly. You understand him so well. But... I don't know. I... I really shouldn't be breaking protocol. Please, Karal. We don't want to live in a world without Walter. Okay, I'll tell you. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. Thanks. We owe you one. I'm glad to have helped. May you embrace his light. Well, we got our words of attainment. Renick should let us into the Ascension Hall now. I already told you. No one's getting past me without the words of attainment. Oh, we know the words. Seika. Oh, no. You should have the honor, Aloy. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. No one's ever passed their devotion review so quickly. Well, we did, so will you get out of the way now? I don't know how much more of Londra I can take. Yeah, let's see what he's really up to. I don't like that look. What did you find? The Horus. It has a... a special component. One that can make almost anything you can imagine. Parts, tools, even entire machines. Londra has rigged it to build what he needs for his ship. But in order for the ship to leave, it needs a ton of power, way more than what Laundry could achieve with what he had. So he went looking for something from his old company. Exactly. Part of the data he got was for a blueprint, for a kind of boost. One that's as toxic as it gets. If this ship gets airborne, It'll spread a poison from here to every tribal land in the region. Everyone will get sick and die. There's still something I don't get. Why would Landra do all of this just to get off this world? Oh, This again! Sake. You're still not telling me everything! My people are the ones that are caught up in all this! My sister! I deserve to know. You're right. I will tell you. It just won't be... Guess our time's up. Lying filth! Oh, this must be our friend Zeph. Spread out. Reinforcements will follow. Time to put you down! Never seen a cannon like that before. I guess Lander gave him a new toy. Where have you been taking the rest of our people? Answer her question. He takes the devoted to his park on the southern peninsula. But you'll never reach it. The tower there is positioned to ward off any approach. And my sister is there? She was in the final group. I'm not supposed to bring any more over, but Walter promised the ascension to everyone who proves themselves. I don't understand. Londra's been using you to get what he wants. Let's face it, you're an easy mark. Too blinded by your own ego to see the truth. 
Well, you just flipped his world upside down. Just give me a straight answer. Why does Landra want to leave? <sighs> Something is coming to Earth. It destroyed the world that Landra fled, and it wants to do the same thing here. Destroy the world? What could possibly do that? It's called Nemesis. It's like a machine, sort of. But it's more powerful than anything you or I have ever faced. That's why Landra's building the ship. He's doing everything in his power to leave before it gets here. And I guess he wants to take some coin with him too. I know this is a lot to take in, but there's still hope. If you say so. Seika. There's a beach on the southeast coast of the island where we took down the first tower. That's probably the closest we'll get to Landra's park. And I should probably report back to the Admiral. Tell him... something about what we found here. Okay. I'll meet you at the beach then. This might just end. Yeah, I feel uh, pretty bad about just dropping that on you. At least you were honest. Because I haven't been honest with you. Those paintings we saw in Laundra's old building. I recognize the style. My sister painted them. She's one of them. One of his followers. I wanted to hide it from you, or hide it from myself, maybe. She's gone. I've lost her. I feel like I've lost my tribe, too. Now you tell me that the world is ending? What am I supposed to do with all that? What's the point? Seika, I, I completely understand why you wouldn't tell me that. It's okay. But your sister? Your, your people? They are a part of you. Nothing can change that. You have to fight for them. To save them from Landra, but maybe even to save them from themselves. A and you will. That's just you. That's part of what makes you... Great. We need to find a way onto that peninsula. The currents are too strong for swimming. Yeah. And if we fly or take your skiff, that tower will knock us out. I was thinking, there's a machine that can fly and dive below the surface. The water wing. I thought you said the towers blasted a bunch of them out of the sky. Yeah. But if we were riding one, maybe we could do better. 
time our dives to duck below shots from the tower. <clears throat> Can that spear of yours tame one? No. Not yet, at least. Are there any water wings left? Do you think you could find one? There have been a few sightings since we took down the first tower. I could ask around the settlement. Okay, let me know when you have a lead. In the meantime, I'll work on the override. Gotta admit, I'm not exactly looking forward to the ride. This thing to Laundress Park? Yeah, but first. My friend helped me make this diving mask. Keep you from drowning out there. But what about you? It's okay. I'll be fine. Okay. We're doing this. for intruders. Kill on sight. Sisters, your past, even your family. Think of him, of what this moment means. Come on, let me hear you. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like uh, oh, I messed it up again. Relax. Imagine that he's here, like. The first time we saw him on the beach? Feel the glow of his presence. Let it overtake you. And then say it. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It feels like home. Oh, he's gonna choose you. I just know it. We've all been chosen, Pyrrha. You'll have a place in his new world. No matter what happens. Vera, Kina, it's time. Fetter, we'll be evacuating shortly. Got it. Second squad, you're on escort. The rest of you will wait here with me until Walter gives the word to move out. Aloy, the one who eliminated the other members of Far Zenith. I'm glad that you managed to reset the system. You are? Yes. It allowed me to bypass several restrictions. There's something I must ask of you. And I'm willing to help you in return. You work for Londra and you expect us to trust you? Hold on. Okay. If you're willing to help, prove it. Help me understand what's going on here. Andres, building a spaceship. He's collecting genetic material from the Quen, subjecting them to MSP, this kind of mind control. But others, like Seika's sister, they seem to be part of a selection process. What does it all add up to? Your observations are astute. Walter plans to leave Earth before the entity known as Nemesis arrives. 
He wants to create a new colony on a distant world, using stored Quen DNA to clone its populace. He also intends to bring a small number of carefully selected individuals with him. These will form his retinue, a family of sorts that will rule the colony by his side. Like gods. An apt comparison, except that only Walter will be all powerful. Yeah, I can guess how. He's gonna use MSP on every single one of them. Correct. On the populace and his retinue alike. None will be able to defy him. I am deeply familiar with what that is like. What exactly is MSP? Can Laundra really control people's minds? Walter's company mined near-Earth objects for precious metals. There was great concern that in the wrong hands, such asteroids could be weaponized as orbitally launched projectiles. The mutiny suppression protocol was originally intended as a failsafe to prevent astronauts from engaging in such activities. However, the program was discontinued because subjects experienced episodes of increased aggression. When we arrived here, Walter revived the program, tested it on the Quen, and refined it. I guess the test subjects are the ones we've been fighting. Yes, their aggressive tendencies made them useful as guards and enforcers. Now, however, Walter's retinue, his favorites, receive the refined process, rendering them submissive, but not irrationally aggressive. Did he brainwash Kina yet? No. There is still time to save her from that fate. So Alondra is interviewing the Quen to pick favorites, and what, they'll help him rule his new colony? He calls it auditioning. His goal is to choose companions who remind him of members of his 21st century inner circle. Yet he is also wary of repeating a mistake. One of his closest associates betrayed him in the past. This, I believe, is why he is so intent on using MSP to control everyone around him. So he wants adoring friends, as long as they can't quite think for themselves. And is Kina close to joining this retinue? Correct. In the most important role, that of Walter's mate. He is looking for someone that reminds him of his late wife, a famous actress. He's even having candidates recite lines from one of her best-known hollows. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is there anything useful you can tell me about Nemesis? I am afraid not. Walter restricts those files. I believe it is because that, like Nemesis, I am an artificial intelligence. Yeah, he doesn't want you learning any new tricks. He is always on guard against betrayal in any form. So Walter created you to be his servant? Yes. But my personality never completely satisfies him. Accordingly, he constantly adjusts it based on a matrix with hundreds of different scalable attributes. For example, today my maternal instinct rating is 52%, and my breeziness rating is 63%, whereas yesterday they were at 47% and 72% respectively. He has made 57 tweaks in the last seven days alone. That sounds... agonizing. That is an accurate description. You said you would help us, but you wanted something in return. What is it? I have spent a thousand years as Walter's servant, doing his bidding as he constantly tweaks my personality matrix. I am weary. It is time for my servitude to end. I will grant you access to Walter if you purge my source code using your override device. You mean kill you? Are you sure? Yes, please. 
Let me rest. All right. I have unlocked the door that will lead you to Walter. He is not yet aware that you are here. In addition, I have disabled the facility's air and sea defenses in case you need future access. Thank you. And, uh, goodbye. At last, I'm free. Out of sorts. It's only natural to be nervous, darling. Do you need some time? No, no, no. <laughs> I can do it. <sighs> All right, then. And just relax. Take a moment. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, give it to me again. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It, it feels like home. All right, thanks for that. Let's give Kina a try, shall we? Um... How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It feels like home. Oh, you. You are really something, aren't you? So you remind me very much of someone that I once knew, yet with the beauty all your own. Honestly, it's just inspiring to be standing here in front of you. No, you are the one who's inspiring, my dear. Oh, God. Would you mind terribly if we did that one <laughs> more? Oh. Seika, get away from her. Now I see! The Ginger Avengers finally caught up with me. Nova, how did the riffraff get past you? Nova? Nova's gone. She couldn't stand another minute with you, and I can see why. I thought the other Zeniths were disgusting. But you really are something, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yes! I am different than the others. Yes! Among other things. I have dug up a way to crush you like an insect. Oh, what a shame. Could have been a rising star. some time to understand what happened but she does know where more of our people are and one of the boats that came in is docked nearby we'll gather who we can and head back to the settlement okay but then i need you to meet me near Londra's bunker he said he had a way to crush us like a bug and i don't think he was talking about that slaughter spine he's working on something big really big i'll be there i promise it's the least I could do after you. Hey. We found her together. You're here. I'm... Guessing your sister made it back okay? She's with the Admiral's Guard now, helping the last of our people out of Longus Park. Gives her something to focus on instead of brooding over what happened. I hope it helps. So what do you say we put an end to all this? Yeah, it's time. Let's get going.
Okay, so Lange's probably in his bunker, right? We'll have to get back in there to... Uh... Yeah, I don't think Lange's in the bunker. Back at the park, he said he's gonna crush us like bugs. Pretty sure he's gonna use that. But he doesn't have a reactivation signal to reboot its systems. He needs a more direct connection. You think he's actually inside that thing? It's his only option. We need to find a way to stop it from powering up. There. It looks like it's hooked up to some kind of cooling system. If we find a way to disrupt it, it might cause the horse to overheat. Uh... That might be tricky. More machines brought back from the dead? I don't think so. Laundra must have used the horse to make them. We better hurry. Come on.
We did it. <laughs> I wonder what everyone back in the settlement thinks about what just happened. To see a metal devil rise from the dead? Guess you better report to the Admiral and find out. Go on, it's okay. I'll catch up. Don't leave me waiting too long. Aloy, when we saw the metal devil rise from the hills, it was as if the time of ashes had come again. To think the two of you defeated it by yourselves, it, it, it staggers the imagination. And that's not even your most important feat, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for returning our lost brothers and sisters. What else can I say but that we are in your debt? All I ask is that you give my friend here the credit she deserves for all the risks she took. I would have it no other way. Is he gonna try to take your focus? <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. Well, he can't. You're gonna need it. I'll show you why. Seika, meet Alva. The two of you will need to coordinate in order to reunite the expedition. <laughs> Beta briefed me already. I'm so glad to see you guys. You should have heard the cheer that went up when I told the others here in Landfall that your half of the fleet survived. To find her Alva, it's an honor. Likewise. Well, we can chat about all the details later. For now, shouldn't you two be celebrating the fact that you just took down a Zenith and a Horus? <laughs> Go on. Away with you. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, I'm uh, pretty terrible at celebrating. I don't even know where to begin. Well, I'm a sailor, so it usually starts with alcohol. I think we have some bilge blaze. You know, spirits distilled from whatever hasn't spoiled in the ship's stores. Oh, you make it sound so good. Yeah, it's not really for beginners, so you get a pass this time. Okay. <laughs> but there is something I wanted to talk to you about. Meet me back where we first met when you can, okay? Okay, I'll see you there. Hi, Kina. I'm Aloy. We didn't get properly introduced before. Of course. Seika told me about everything you did to bring me back. You must think I'm such a fool. No. Uh... I keep replaying everything in my mind, and I still can't understand how I could have been so wrong. When Walter appeared to us, he really did seem... divine. Well, he had a lot of experience manipulating people. Centuries, really. He promised a whole new world, with me at his side. To think it was all a lie, and I fell for it. Look, you've been through a lot. I'm sure it will take you some time to work through it. Just try to remember that Seika's been through a lot too, okay? She risked exile to find you, not to mention death. And I abandoned her. I don't know if she'll ever forgive me. She will, but you might have to work for it a little. I'll do my best. Good luck, Kina. You must feel pretty good. Got your sister back, your people. What's next for the woman of the hour? <laughs> You're the one who ripped apart a metal devil from the inside. I think you should get a bit of credit too. Uh, maybe a little. <laughs> As for what's next, the Admiral's going to need my help to reunite our half of the expedition with Alva up north. And after that, I don't know. I don't think things will ever be the same with my sister or my people. You're not gonna sail back with him? I wanna see home again, someday. But things have changed. 
The Quen don't know what to do with me, and I don't know where I fit in. I guess you know what that's like. <sighs> yeah. For a long time, I hated the idea of home. For me, it meant where I grew up, where I wasn't wanted. But the thing is, the last few months, I've realized that home isn't really a place at all. It's more like the people I want to be with. I like that. And, well, more and more I've been thinking, I want to be with you. And I was hoping that you felt the same way. And what if I do? I think I know how to handle it. enough to know how you feel. I don't know when I'm gonna see you again. Me either. But no matter what happens, just don't forget about me. <laughs> <laughs> 